Hello everyone. Thank you for coming up today. My old subscribers, thank you. And to those that have been for the first time or that have not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. And talking about the pastor who was arrested over the disappearance of his lover in Port Harcourt. A clergyman who has been identified as Pastor Soji Masoji. He has been arrested over the disappearance of a woman by the name Beauty Sobari. Soji was arrested by the operatives of garrison of the 6th Division of the Nigerian Army Port Harcourt. After Sobari, that's his lover, the girl, went missing on Christmas Day. And it was actually disclosed that um, Beauty, who is 20 years old, she is a final year student of the Department of Education in River State University. She actually went to visit the pastor, that's her man friend, on December 25th. And it was gathered that the lady visited him, but she never returned. However, every effort the parent, the, father, the mom tried, because at first it was the mom who made the effort. She tried to find out where her daughter was because they've tried her severally. Her phone is switched off. And the only place they know that she actually went to was to the pastor's house to visit the pastor. And as such, the family of the missing lady, that's their counsel, has also disclosed that it was the father of the victim that finally contacted the military. Because at first, when they couldn't find the girl, it was the mom who discovered that she, is not, she hasn't returned home since that 25th. So probably... Um, the father was not around at that moment because it's indicating here that it was the mom who at first noticed that this girl number is not going through and she has not returned that same day. And as such, they contacted the pastor and he said that they should not worry that their daughter will be back soon. But later the pastor now said that they should not notify the father of the girl about her not being back home on time, but that they should still be patient. Their daughter will be back. But their daughter never came back. And um, the Moji shot, that's the pastor himself. He is of the city of angels. And he's being interrogated right now by the military because the father when the mom realized that it's getting four days from 25th their daughter didn't come back 26 27 was counting down and their daughter never came back so when it clocked the fourth day that's when their mom now notified the father that look at what's happening their daughter is not back and when they contacted the pastor he said she'll be returning but later said they shouldn't notify the father but their daughter will return soon which she never returned and they've tried her several times on the phone. The phone is even switched off. They can't even get hold of her. So the father had to involve the military. He didn't even go to the police trade. He went up to the military to go and notify them of what is happening. And so they arrested the pastor. At the moment, the pastor is under investigation. But to make matters worse, the pastor is not willing to speak up or to say anything about their daughter's whereabouts. He is not even willing to notify the parents anything about their daughter. And you know, owing to the fact that the pastor told them not to allow their father to be aware, that creates a kind of suspicion. Because if you say they shouldn't let their father know, why are you saying that? If that is what he truly said, according to the family, that that was the response the pastor had given to them. 
So why give that kind of response if everything is well? And as such, the father did not take it lightly at all. He had to go and notify the army. And he has even urged that the military should transfer the matter to the River State Police Command for proper investigation. So right now, both the police are also getting involved. So you can imagine all both arms of military, both arms of security, that's the military, and then the police are involved into this case. That's to tell you that it's not being taken lightly at all by her parents. Right now, there's a lot of confusion amidst her parents and her family. Because... You can imagine, she's 20 years, it's not like she's a baby that can't speak up or that wouldn't know anything, is a matured lady. And the parents are so worried because where is their daughter at the moment? Where could she be? Or to make it worse, what is happening to their daughter? It's worse when you don't even know what is happening to your child. So right now, that's where there is a big problem. If this pastor was even willing to say anything, it would have been easy. So probably, he doesn't have a hand in it. Is that why he's not saying anything? Or does it mean that she is somewhere and he knows where she is, but he doesn't want to speak up? Or was he adopted because right now they are saying it's a case of adoption because from the investigation they are carrying out right now they're saying she has been adopted so either kidnapped or kept somewhere hidden somewhere no one knows at the moment and it's so suspicious because of the response the pastor had given to the mom earlier saying don't let the father of the girl know that she hasn't returned but she will return soon which she never returned. So right now, what do we all think about this? Is it that um, the pastor is the one that has adopted this girl? Or did someone else do it that the pastor is aware of? Or is the pastor not even aware of anything? But you know, most times under investigations like this, the first try to find out the last place the person visited. And from the narration of the parents that the pastor was the last place she had visited. And also, in situations like this, they try to call the person or find out the last call the person had made through before the person's disappearance. That's what they do in cases like this. But where her phone is not found, they can't even find. Her phone is switched off, they can't even reach her. So it's kind of difficult, but sometimes there are certain technologies they could use to either find out the last call the person had made or pulled through before their disappearance. Such things usually help to trace or to know the next step to take or the next person to hold responsible. It's really heartbreaking. You can imagine right now the parents and her family and friends are in serious confusion. Nobody even know where to start from in search for her. Nobody even know where she is at the moment. The only thing the parents is asking, they are even saying they are willing to pay any ransom. All they want is their daughter and they want their daughter alive. So you see how heartbreaking it is, how devastating it is for her family at the moment. Place yourself in this kind of position or shoe or this person's experience. It's not a good one for anyone to experience. We're just getting into the new year and then look at now this family will have to go through this pain and suffering. It's so worse when you don't even know what is happening to your child. I wish something was done or or I wish there was a clue the girl left behind or something if only she knew she wasn't going to come back. But you see, no one knows what will happen to you or to the person the next minute. Otherwise, people will make arrangements ahead of time. But we don't know. Nobody knows what will happen. 
in a situation like this, I'm sure the girl never knew she wasn't going to come back again. Or did this girl deliberately leave and arranged with the pastor that she want, she doesn't want to go back home? Or what do we all think? Because there are so many speculations right now. She is a matured lady. And if she had seen the pastor, the last person she had seen, and then the person now said, don't tell the father, but your daughter will be returning soon. And she never returned. And he is not even willing to say anything. What can we make out of this whole thing? Do we think the girl and the pastor arranged this whole thing that is happening right now? Or did the pastor deliberately adopt her? Or is she being kidnapped by someone else? What can be seen from this whole thing? This is since 25th. No phone call, no trace of her, just nothing. Well, like I said earlier, in cases like this, the last place she visited or the last phone call she made, that is always the lead to such kind of investigations. It will lead them to the person or give them clues to where this person may be. I just pray she has found and found a life for her family. It's so heartbreaking. You can imagine sleepless nights, restlessness, even they may not even have appetite to eat because you may sit down to eat and you just remember your daughter is somewhere. You don't even know if she has food to eat and here you are eating. You know the kind of a feeling you will just be having and struggling within yourself. It's it's really, really heartbreaking, you know. I just pray that all is well with her and then she comes back home alive for her family. And the parents are not relenting at all. They want to ensure that their daughter is found and found alive. May God help her to be found alive so that she can return back home to her family. Friends, what do you all think about this? Should the pastor be held responsible? Or should they divert somewhere else? What do we all think? Please, whatever we think about this whole incident that has happened, please leave your comments below. Your comments are highly important and will be appreciated. Friends, thank you for coming up today. Please, for those that have not subscribed, click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. Thank you once again. God bless you all.